Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can meta-humify yourself, if we can say so, meaning that we are going to create a custom meta-human that looks like you. I've been exploring various softwares and I made a lot of tries to figure out a workflow with the least equipment required. And when I say a lot of tries, I mean a lot. The good news is that now I can show you the simplest way to achieve the result. The process is broken down in five stages. Pictures acquisition, 3D model generation, 3D model preparation and export, metahuman identity creation, metahuman finalization. The first two stages are strictly correlated, since the way you take pictures depends on how you choose to generate the 3D model. What I mean is that you can generate the 3D model with classic photogrammetry or not. Classic photogrammetry techniques give the best results, but are quite hard to apply on a budget. In fact, you should have multiple cameras that shoot pics at the same time from different angles. This guarantees that the subject is in focus and in the same pose in all the Im images. Softwares like Reality Capture, Metashape or Meshroom then let you recreate an almost perfect 3D representation of the subject. I tried this way, but as I said, it's quite difficult to obtain good results with just one camera. But you are free to try this way as well. What we are going to do instead is to use an application called Polycam. It doesn't matter if you have a phone with Android or iOS, since we'll be taking advantage of the web version of it using the pro version of the app that has a free trial of 14 days. Polycam is really good because it's way more forgiving than standard photogrammetry software. And even if its results are not 100% accurate, there is a perfect balance between ease of use and quality for what we are doing here. So, without further ado, let's begin. To create an account, I suggest you to use the app website, because doing so you can have a 14 days free trial. If you go down the same procedure on your phone, you will only get 7 days free trial. We are now ready to take pictures. This part is the most important because it lays the foundation of all the subsequent steps. I advise you to take your time and shoot carefully the pictures. The best thing would be to have someone to take pictures of you because it reduces the chance of getting blurred or cropped pictures. In any case, if you are going to use your phone camera, I suggest you to use a selfie stick and enable the shake reduction to avoid blurry pictures. The pictures should look something like this. And as we'll see, taking pictures of your back is not strictly required, but the important things are to have an even illumination and to take pictures from different angles, from one side to the other. You can also take some close pictures, just be sure to have at least 50% overlap, as Polycam suggests. If you have a long bird, it will cause problems, because the bird will be included in the model and more post-processing is required. To skip the post-processing, the only way is to shave or trim it. Same goes for long hair, but in that case the solution is simple. Tie your hair so your face doesn't get covered. After taking the pictures, you can upload them to Polycom from your phone or computer. I found that having a natural background and using the object mask option gave me the best results. If you have pictures without a natural background, you can remove it using Photoshop or similar software like I did. Keep in mind that this doesn't necessarily apply for every case, so feel free to experiment. When you are happy with the result, open the capture and download the generated model by clicking on the export button and select the format you prefer. I chose GLTF. We are going to import the downloaded model in Blender, so fire it up and go to import GLTF. To better view the model, you can set the lighting visualization on matcap. What we need of the model is just the front part of the head and its texture, so we can proceed to delete all the rest. But first we have to rotate the model since Polycam tends to generate models with a funky orientation. Let's go in front view by pressing 1 on the keyboard and rotate the model to align it to the view. Then we enable X-ray or Y-frame mode to select all the bottom vertices and delete them. If there are unwanted vertices on the top, we do the same. Next, we go on the side view by pressing 3 on the keyboard to remove unwanted parts as well, if present. 
Often Polycam models have disconnected parts. To check these in edit mode, you can go on select, all by trait, non-manifold. If there are disconnected parts selected, merge them by clicking on mesh, merge by distance. Now the model can still be non-manifold, but is fully connected and that's important because using modifiers to a disconnected mesh will generate problems. If the model came out with a rough surface, you can use the corrective smooth modifier in Blender to clean the model a bit. You may need to play a bit with the sliders to achieve the desired result. In my case, with this last model, the surface came out really smooth. I had just to even out the bird, and for that I used the sculpting tools in Blender to achieve a very good final model. Now you can see why it's so important to have good pictures in the beginning, so that this phase is shorter. When you are happy with your model, you can proceed to export it in FBX format by going on File, Export, FBX. We also need textures along with the model, and you will see why in a bit. So we set Path Mode to Copy, and we click the Embed Texture button. Then we select the Mesh in Object Types, Smoothing should be set on face, and we are going also to uncheck bake animation. We now can finally click export FBX. Now, before jumping in Unreal Engine 5, be sure to have the MetaHuman plugin downloaded. You can find it in the marketplace by just searching for MetaHuman. After that, we can create a project. I'm going for the third person template, and then let the engine start. When the project opens, the first thing to do is to enable the MetaHuman plugin by going in the Plugins window and search for MetaHuman. Select it and restart the engine. Back in the project, right-click in the Content Browser and select MetaHuman, MetaHuman Identity. This will create an identity for our character. It will be empty, of course, and we need to link it to our imported mesh. Speaking of that, we need to import the FBX we created before, so just drag and drop it in the content browser and leave the standard settings. Then click Import All. To link the MetaHuman identity with the mesh, we need to open it. Click on Components from Mesh and select the mesh. What we'll be doing is capturing the face using the automatic tracking and Epic suggests to set the field of view to 15 degrees. Then we align the camera so that the face is looking directly at it. Now we promote this view to a so-called frame by clicking on Neutral Pose and then Promote Frame. The blue bar at the bottom of the window will indicate that the currently frame is active. We can then click Track Active Frame and let the engine analyze the model and its texture to track the features of the face. If the geometry and the texture of your model are good, the tracking will be really accurate. As we can see here, the tracking of eyes and mouth match quite good with the model. We still need a body for our character, so select body on the left pane and choose one of the six presets currently available for MetaHumans. Now we can click MetaHuman Identity Solve on the top bar, and when it's done, we can finally click the Mesh to MetaHuman button. This part can take a while, from 2 to 10 minutes, so go have a cup of coffee and when you're back you'll see a window like this saying that your MetaHuman has been created. Okay, so we are at the final step, that is in my opinion the best one because we finally see the result coming to life. Open Quixel Bridge from the engine by clicking the Add Content button and selecting Quixel Bridge. Then we go in MetaHumans and click My MetaHuman. Here we can see our new MetaHuman identity that has just a logo as a preview, since we have created it but not initialized it. To do so, we click on it and start the MetaHuman Creator app.
When it's loaded, we can use the sliders in the first section to reduce the increasing in volume generated by our model to the base metahuman shape. I always set the top parts of the head to zero because the hair and the 3D model imperfections tend to just ruin the model. For the other influence sliders, it's up to you. It really depends on how good is the model generated in Polycom. Of course, the important thing is to try to keep the character as close as possible to the scanned subject. Our character still looks like Vision when gets killed by Thanos, so let's give it a more human look by going on skin and assign it a color. You can also modify the model by enabling the editing of the mesh. It will ask you to create a copy of the character before making any changes to the geometry. That could be a good idea if you want to experiment a bit. Next, you can go through all the other customization for the eyes, teeth, makeup, hair, and so on, until you are happy with the result. That's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful somehow. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to support my work. Speaking of that, I have some ideas for future videos, but if you want to give a suggestion about which topic to cover, write that in the comments below. Well, it's time to go now, see you on the next one, cheers!